As someone who has watched the anime since they were 4 years old and hasn't missed a single episode, there is one question that has always been on my mind. What if I were in the Pokemon anime? How would my story unfold? What Pokemon would I use? What goals would I have? Well thankfully, I'll be doing the Who Wants to Journey 2021 tag, which will answer all of those questions. Huge shout out to the Incineroar man himself, Crasher, for creating this tag. Also shout out to Infamous Trainer for tagging me. If you want to participate as well, I highly suggest watching the introduction video to fully understand the rules. When it comes to my version of the tag, I'll be doing things a little bit differently to shake things up, but the core of this challenge will still be the same. I'll be going over my journey if I were a character in the Pokemon anime. Let's get started. The first question I'll be answering will help set up my backstory, and it's which region would you hail from? I think this one is pretty obvious if you know me. I'll be coming from Lumio City in the Kalos region. Now my journey takes place many years before Ash's journey begins. 10 year old Zack, that's me, begins his Pokemon journey by visiting Professor Sycamore's lab and choosing Froakie as his starter Pokemon. Froakie and I instantly become best friends, and we're ready to take on the Pokemon world together. You could say we had a pretty strong bond from the jump. Like most trainers from Kalos, my goal was to take on and win the Kalos League, so I went for that. I made my way through the region, collected 8 gym badges, and competed in my first ever Pokemon League. I do pretty well and make it to the Kalos League Finals, but unfortunately lose to Diantha, who will eventually become the champion master of the region. It was an epic battle, but sadly my Greninja was no match for her Mega Gardevoir. Mega Evolution was still a pretty rare phenomenon at this point, so I was not prepared for that. Now during my Kalos journey, I actually visited the Ninja Village and heard whispers of a rare Greninja form that is akin to Mega Evolution. So after my Kalos League loss, I decided to head back to the village and train there in hopes of being able to master that mysterious power that could give me the edge up against Champion Diantha. Fast forward and I've now been training in the Ninja Village for a few years. At this point I participated in many Ninja missions and have done lots of intense training, but could not achieve the new Greninja transformation. The training was not a waste however, as my time at the Ninja Village helped me mature as a trainer and made my team even more powerful than when I first started my journey. So with that in mind, I take all that I've learned and give the Kalos League challenge a second try, and this time I actually win. After that I take on the Elite Four. Malva, Wickstrom, Seabold, Drasna, I take them all down and finally get my rematch with Diantha, who is now a much stronger champion. We have an epic 6v6 battle, but in the end I still could not get past her Mega Gardevoir. After this I hit a bit of a low point and I wasn't sure what to do, so I head back to Lumio City and take some time to reflect and figure out what to do next. After a talk with Professor Sycamore, he suggests I go explore the world, as training in different places outside of Kalos could help me become an even better trainer. So with that in mind, I decide it's finally time to leave Kalos and explore all the other regions the Pokemon world has to offer. I first start off with Sinnoh to visit Sycamore's old teacher, Professor Rowan, and then from there, I head off to take on the Sinnoh League. This is actually around the same time Ash begins his Pokemon journey. Fast forward a few more years, and now I've got quite a few regions under my belt. Because of my training in the Ninja Village, I actually managed to win every single League conference I competed in. Unfortunately, I'd always lose when taking on the Elite Four, so I have not yet earned the title of Champion Master. First there's Sinnoh, where I lost to Elite Four Lucian. After that, I decide to go south and travel the rest of the Japan-based regions. Next was Kanto, where I lost to Lance. Took on the Orange Islands and won that at least. Lost in Joro against Karin, and then made my way to Hoenn, where I lose to Drake. After Hoenn, I headed to the Unova region, where I made it all the way to the champion this time, but could not defeat Alder unfortunately. After that I took some time to explore the Decalor Islands, which was a huge waste of time, so after that I decided to go to the far better island region of Alola. While in Alola, I competed in the island challenge, and even won my final battle at Mount Lanakila. After I leave Alola, I head for my next gym challenge in the Galar region, and coincidentally this is when Ash arrives in Alola. While in Galar, I managed to make it all the way to Leon, but this was 100% my toughest battle yet. He left me down to my final Pokemon, Greninja, and we were pushed to our absolute limit. We were not gonna give up however. After many years of traveling, going through 8 regions together, we were at our peak, and we had to give it our all. We have never been more in sync than in this moment, and then, it finally happened. The bond phenomenon was finally triggered, and out came our new Greninja form, Zack Greninja. AKA Zatoshi Kekoga. Unfortunately, the transformation still wasn't enough to defeat Leon's G Max Charizard, so we lost again. The battle with Leon was the greatest I've ever had, however, and I told him how I'd love to have a rematch with him someday. And that's when he suggested to me the World Coronation series. 
This was the perfect competition for me, as not only would I get my rematch with Leon, but all the other trainers I couldn't defeat before. So with that in mind, I now had a new ultimate goal, to defeat Leon and officially be declared as the world's strongest trainer. And there you have it, a brief summary of my Pokemon journey. Now it's time to talk about the Pokemon I would use. Now at this point in my journey, I've traveled through many regions and have assembled multiple teams. But since I'm taking on the world's strongest in the World Coronation series, I've assembled a rotation consisting of 9 of the best Pokemon I've caught throughout my travels. First up is my starter and ace, Greninja, rocking the epic new Zac Greninja form. Because he's my starter, he's the only Pokemon I've used in every region. We're inseparable bros. Second is Garchomp, the pseudo-legendary of the team. I caught this bad boy in Sinnoh, and is an insane powerhouse Pokemon. Third is Arcanine, a great fire doggo that I caught while in Kanto, one of my all time favorite fire types honestly. Fourth is Scizor, I caught it as a Scyther in the Johto bug catching contest and eventually evolved it into Scizor once I got my hands on a metal code. Fifth is Gardevoir, who I caught in Hoenn, I was inspired to catch one after getting beaten by Diantha's Mega Gardevoir back in Kalos. Sixth is Braviary, an epic bird I caught while in Unova, I actually caught this one fully evolved, this Pokemon is full of fighting spirit. 7th is Alolan Raichu from, you guessed it, Alola. This one is definitely the goofy member of the team, but it's still an amazing battler. 8th is another Alolan Mon, Dusk Form Lycanroc, the newest member of the team that I caught on my second trip to Alola, which I'll talk about shortly. And lastly, Toxtricity, who I caught in the Galar region. This one rocks his awesome G-Max form, so whenever I have battles in Galar, he's my go-to Mon. Next, it's time to talk about who my companions would be, and this one should be pretty obvious. It's Ben and Raph. If I were in the Pokemon anime, of course I'd travel with the bros. There's no other option here. I like to think I met Raph in Kalos while he was learning how to master Mega Evolution in the Tower of Mastery. We started out as rivals first, but then eventually became bros. As for Ben, I met him while he was vacationing in Alola, and first ran into him when visiting the Pokemon school. And now it's time to talk about who my rivals would be. When it comes to anime characters, my first rival would be Diantha. This all began when she first defeated me in the Kalos League Finals, and as you know by now, years later I'd challenge her for the champion title but still lose. I'll never forget those losses, so I'm always aiming to surpass her someday, and I hope to do so in the World Coronation series. The next rival is the boy himself, Ash Ketchum. Sometime after my Galar journey, I find out that Alola has finally established an official Pokemon League, so I return to the region and win their second ever League Conference. It's there that I learn of Alola's first ever champion. Because he's registered in the World Coronation series, I was able to pinpoint his location in Vermilion City and challenge him to an official 2 on 2 battle. I defeat him by using Zack Greninja, which blows Ash's mind because it's a similar phenomenon to his own. He thought he was the only one capable of doing that, while I thought I was the only one as well. This encounter makes Ash want to reunite with his Greninja, so we vow to have a rematch in the Hyper Class once he's found him. As for non-anime character rivals, I've got three in mind. Infamous Trainer, Xanolith, and Trayman 1. These are trainers I imagine running into in my regional travels, and will eventually battle again in the World Coronation series. Infamous would be my main rival in Sinnoh, Xano would be my main rival in Unova, and Trey would be my main rival in Alola. And there you have it, that's my journey if I were in the Pokemon anime. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now this is the part of the video where I have to tag 5 creators, so I'll be tagging JPR, Resort Originals, Tyrone the God 3, Pokedan, and Entity Maze, why not? I won't be limiting the tag to just them though, it's open to anyone who watches this video. Give this challenge your best shot. Shout out once again to Crasher Plays and React for creating this fun tag. Now I'm gonna head out guys, but as always, remember to live your life to the fullest, and have yourself a damn good one.